film and I looked at my nails and I was like, oh, well that's not appropriate. They were like completely torn to shreds. It was bad. So did I take up my nail polish like a normal person and put on a new coat? No, what I do, I'm like, you know what? I'll just paint over it, I'll paint over it. But you know when you're running behind and you're like just touching up the ends and you're like, it's fine, no one will notice. And then somebody notices and is like, I love your nail polish color. And you're like, thanks, can you look at it from a distance? Yeah, no, this, this is a terrible job, terrible. Hello everyone, I am here with a new Sephora haul. I did a lot, of, I did some online shopping. I did a lot of online shopping. It was just one of those nights where I was sitting down and I was like, I feel like ordering some stuff off Sephora. And then Sephora turned into Nordstrom Rack, which turned into Amazon, which turned into Carter's. And by the end of the night, I'm like, what just happened? But I did get some new things from Sephora that I really want to share with you guys and talk about. And then in two weeks time, I will be back here to tell you guys what worked and what didn't, what I really liked, what I did not like at all. Also, a lot of you guys in my last haul that I did requested for me to do a five first impressions on some of the products that I got. And I thought that'd be a really, really fun idea. So if you see any particular products that you guys want me to include in that video, leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to include as many of the requested items as possible. So just keep that in mind as we watch this video. But I think that's about everything. So without further ado, let's get into this. We'll start with this giant purple thing and that's the top and that is the Glam Glow Gra- Hold on, I'm not gonna say this right. Glam Gro- Take three. Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Yes! It is an instant tightening and firming treatment that changes color from white to a brilliant chrome and peels off to leave skin feeling tighter and more lifted. I've seen a ton of people buy this and love this product. It is one of their best-selling um, Glam Glow masks and so I wanted, I wanted to try it. Next up is what I'm wearing on my lips. I know, I cheated. This is the only product that I use. I, I saved everything else for our haul. Only well, opening one of all of this stuff Pretty impressed with myself. And that is the Too Faced Melted Metal Liquefied Metallic Lipstick, and this is in Melted Metallic Macaroon. That's a lot of M's. And it is this beautiful, bright Barbie pink, and I'm kind of in love with it. You guys know how much I love the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. I think they're amazing. I love the formulation, and so I wanted to test out um, more of the metallic tones because I feel like I've been seeing that everywhere. I've been seeing a lot of metallic lips, and so I want to find a way to make that wearable. Would you guys want to see a video on like metallic lipsticks and like my favorite ones and least favorites and all that kind of stuff? and like test them out. I feel like that'd be really fun. Next are two products that I am so excited to be testing out. I have been seeing these everywhere and everyone's been raving about these so I had to buy them and they are the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops and I asked you guys on Twitter which ones are your favorites and which ones you would recommend and um, you guys recommended two, Moonlight and Celestial. I love the Cover FX um, Foundation Drops. They're really nice. I have them in my drawer. I use these constantly and I'm obsessed obsessed with this, um, so I thought this would be really fun to try out. So essentially it looks like you just add this to any existing beauty product. I think you can also use these on their own as well. Not, unlike the foundation drops, you can only use those with another product. So this one is Celestial, and it's the lightest one I think. Oh, I'm excited. We're gonna blend it. Whoa! <laughs> that was no joke. I would look like a robot on the face. Okay, let's blend it out a little bit more. Woo! That's really nice. More of a cool toned, really, really light highlight. I think that would look really good if you had paler skin. Now let's try Moonlight. It is very similar to Celestial, except that it has more of a yellow undertone versus Celestial has more of a pink undertone. Both are beautiful. I think those are gonna look gorgeous. I'm really excited to play around with those and I think they are going to look amazing. This next product is a new product from Hourglass and this is actually sent to me as a press sample, but I wanted to include it because I think it's really cool and I really wanna try it out. Um, and this will be launching in Sephora. I think it's actually already launched in Sephora and it, that is their Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. So apparently this formula is super highly pigmented, really concentrated, you need only the tiniest amount it seems like to apply and then you just dot it on your face, blend it out and then add a little bit more as you need and it's supposed to give you this beautiful flawless finish. In terms of how it applies on the skin, it is definitely, definitely high coverage. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to be careful with that. It's an interesting consistency in that it is thicker, but it almost blends out to almost like a serum-y finish. Like it's much smoother. I don't know how people with oily skin would do with this, because I feel like it would be very heavy on the skin. We will see. Stay tuned. Now on to a new lippy that I got, and this is from Tarte, and it's their Tartus Glossy Lip Paint. I don't know which one launched first, but that's very reminiscent of the whole Kylie Jenner lip thing. I don't know. The color that I got is in the color Obvi, which is this pretty neutral pink. That's really pretty. Just a very nice, soft, everyday, glossy 
nude pink. I think that's beautiful. Now onto a slew of new lippies from Smashbox. They sent out this big lip kit and it has all of their new um, liquid lipsticks in it and also the shade with Lily Singh, the um, shade Boss. Fun fact, I saw Lily at an event once and I was too scared to go up a dog door. I just froze. I was just like fangirl mom and I was like, it was pretty embarrassing. And it's this beautiful red shade and I've seen her wear it a ton so I'm really excited to test this out. And there are a ton of different colors. I have heard only amazing things about this formulation and how they wear on the lips and the shades and all that fun stuff. In terms of application of just swatching it, it went on really smoothly. There's no streakiness or anything, just really beautiful pigmentation. It feels very um, thin, which I really like as well. And I like the dough tip applicator. So I'm excited about this. I'm excited to test these out further. Next up is a product I picked up from a brand that I've never tried before. I want to try more brands, more different brands that I've never used before. So this is the brand Too Cool For School. This is the Dino Platz Cushy Blush Number no. 3. If there are any brands that you guys want to see like a whole buy or buy on, like this one or anyone in particular, leave them in the comment section below and I'll like pick up some more things and like do another one on. So I guess what happens is you squeeze this and then the product comes out and then you blend it onto your cheeks and you get like a nice sort of like a cushion foundation but in blusher form. Um, so yeah. We'll see, we'll see what this looks like. Now on to another foundation that I am excited to try out. This is by Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. And if you guys have been watching me for like eons, you know that I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I used it forever, especially when my skin wasn't the greatest. This is part of the Double Wear family, which has a lot of coverage. It's a very highly concentrated formula. And this is supposed to wear for eight hours without touch-ups and it's in a stick form so it's more convenient and it has that nice flawless canvas sort of a looky thing that's supposed to be. I'm just gonna stop talking, I'm gonna open this. I'm a little worried this is gonna be streaky but I'm still curious and I love the whole double wear thing so I'm gonna test this out. Now on to a new product and this is by the company Nude Stick and this was sent to me as a press sample and this is their skin glossing pencil. You guys can see there, it has a little bit almost of a creamy champagne tone to it and it's glossy, it's definitely on the thicker side of things, but it does give a nice sheen to the skin and it looks a little bit more natural. So I'll test this out and see um, how it works. And now onto some new lipsticks from Bright Beauty and these are probably the some of the oddest color choices that I've ever seen, but they're interesting. I'm intrigued. For example, this one is called Kale and it's dark green. But like, I see this as a challenge. Like I wanna, I wanna make this wearable. It's almost black, but it's kind of unique and interesting. I kind of like that. Does anyone else feel that way? I feel that's really cool. And then we have Whiskey, which is a dark brown. This is a really pretty reddy undertone, which makes it a little bit more wearable if you're going for the more browny tones. I think that'd be really, really pretty. We have Lavender Jam. It's a very bright gray purple. I don't feel like I would wear that that often. It's like, I don't, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. It's really pretty. Like I kind of want to paint that on the walls in Julia's room though. And lastly, there's Thistle, which is more of like a mauve gray nude. That's really pretty. I like them. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love hauls and you are excited to see the haul update in two weeks time. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And then next week I will be doing a five first impressions for you guys on some of the products from this haul. So let me know in the comment section below what products you guys want to see a five first impressions on. And I will do like a whole face demo using the products and show you at the end of the day kind of how they wore and which ones were my favorites and all that fun stuff. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.